Hey there, I'm Thomas and these are the Corona Chronicles, a chronological vlog of my experiences during the COVID-19 lockdown here in Ireland. It's Friday, May 8th, day 57 of the lockdown. This has got to be the longest four day week I've experienced in a long time. Work has just been crazy over the past couple of days and with me not having any physical separation between work and home, it's all getting a bit overwhelming at times. After all, my home office is also the room where I do all my blogging, where I edit these videos and my photos, the thumbnails that you see on YouTube, and so on. And while the end of the lockdown is on the horizon, it might just as well be a million light years away from my current position, especially given the fact that the number of infections still isn't falling as much as is really needed. With all that being said, the part of the main street in my town that I can overlook from my apartment isn't really that much more busy than it has been in the past few weeks. To be honest, there's not much to do there, with most stores, restaurants and cafes still shuttered. Still, I'd have expected at least a bit more activity given the good weather we're having and we're supposed to have over the weekend. I'll reserve final judgment until the trip to the regional park here in Balancholic on Saturday, but it looks like the amount of complete and utter fuckwits in Ireland isn't quite as large as many reports would have you believe. Speaking of complete and utter fuckwits, we need to talk about Cork City Council. I love it when a transition works like that. Anyway, as the corona crisis and the accompanying lockdown begins to be relaxed across Europe and other parts of the world, many cities are seizing the opportunity to rethink how they're managing traffic and reallocating road space to pedestrians and cyclists. Hell, even Dublin, while admittedly a bit late to the party, are getting in on the act. Meanwhile, Cork, on the other hand, opened up its semi-pedestrianized Oliver Plunkett Street to motorists completely and is effectively standing in the corner with their fingers in their collective ears singing at the top of their lungs to drown out any criticism. Only after serious badgering from some of the more enlightened members of the Cork business community could they be persuaded to eventually re-pedestrianize Oliver Plunkett Street and a few short streets here and there in the city center without any apparent pattern. Honestly, the sheer ignorance, intransigence and petulance of Cork City Council Executive really deserves a full article on my blog. Suffice to say that they're doing their best to sabotage the city at every turn. Anyway, enough about that. I don't want to turn this video into another mammoth rant session. There have been enough of those, um, as you'll see, on this channel. That being said, I'm still on a hair trigger because of the lockdown, a situation not helped by people, businesses and organizations that are seemingly unwilling to learn from the current situation and take the opportunity to make changes for a better future. It doesn't take much to set me off, which is why I keep trying to uncouple, unplug from the ongoing media circus. But then again, that's just my experience, this are things for you. Have you found yourself more irritable because of the ongoing lockdown? And are you trying to do something about that, meditation or anything? Let me know in the comments below. And that's all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button and feel free to share the video, especially if you happen to know someone who works in Cork City Council Management. Anyway, please make sure to subscribe to never again miss a video and also make sure you click the little bell icon and turn on notifications. Every subscription, every like, every share, every comment is a huge help for me. I'll be back on Monday with another video. Until then, you know the drill. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane. And as always, look out for each other.